What's going on everyone? Mr. Cornell here once again. Today's video, I am gonna go into Delta Math to show you exactly what assignments are for the fourth quarter and what it looks like when it says no late credit available um, for the older assignments. Because the, the older assignments really don't matter anymore because it was third quarter. I just want people to start focusing on the fourth quarter assignments that are due so that you can get an easy 100 in this class for the fourth quarter. Um, so, so then we'll be on the same page. And I'll also do some problems from Pythagorean theorem test to help you guys out. So if you guys look, I'm on my Delta Math, and here's my student view. I made a student account. As you can see, there's upcoming assignments, one, two, and three. Those are the only three assignments right now for the fourth quarter. The rest where it says no late credit available, I changed the due date there because those were the third quarter. Those were the grades I put in for the third quarter. So those you don't have to do anymore. You can't do them anymore. So you just leave them there. So regardless if you did them, if you didn't do them, they have no effect on our grade going into the fourth quarter. These three assignments where it says upcoming assignments, those are these new assignments that I'll always post that will say upcoming. These due dates will be end of June. So you can get them done until the end of June, but if I were you, I would get them done week by week so you don't get overwhelmed come the end of the quarter. Because this is a great opportunity to get 100 for the fourth quarter and really increase those grades for the final average of my class, all right? So I look at my upcoming assignments, Pythag Theory number one, Pythag Theorem number two, and Pythagorean Theorem test. Three um, are due. Those will be transferred to power school as soon as you get them done. If you get 100, it's 100, okay? Make sure you get the five right in a row and you're good to go. I'm gonna do some questions from Pythagorean theorem test number one. All right, Pythagorean theorem test. So let's um, just do some problems here. So it says find the exact length of the third side. Uh, so I have six, three, and then here's the right angle. So I know whatever is opposite this right angle is known as the hypotenuse and that's the most important side to understand and that's going to give me that's always side c so since this is c and it's unfound that's what i need to find that means that six and three are what i need to find okay so let's go to the whiteboard here so now that means i have a triangle like so this is six this is three right now, I know this is A and B because this is C. So these other two are A and B. So when I plug it into the Pythagorean theorem, which is A squared plus B squared equals six, uh, C squared, it's going to be 6 squared plus 3 squared equals C squared. Now, guys, from here, you do basic math. 6 squared is 36. 3 squared is 9. So it's 36 plus 9. Right now, you do 36 plus 9. Okay, now how do you get rid of a squared, guys? Remember, the last step of the Pythagorean theorem is take the square root. So, my answer is the square root of 45. Now, when I go back to here. Now, I know my answer is square root of 45. Now, find the exact length of the third side. So when I put in the square root of 45, let's see what happens. Bam. That's the exact length of the third side. Well, third side is the square root of 45. That's it. All right, let's do another one. And look, it tells you how to do it, guys. If it said to you, what was the length to the nearest tenth, then I would have taken the square root of it. I put it into my calculator, into my phone, or the calculator gives you right up here, okay? Let's try another one. Okay, this is a good one. So it's four and eight. Now look how it is. So look where it gives us. It gives us the eight is right up here. So the eight's here. So now look, they gave us C. So now pretend this is A, this is B, and that's C. So look, they gave us A, so it's six squared plus B squared 
equals 8 squared. Why does 8 go for C? Because it's opposite this right angle. We have to find this B. So then I left A to be 6 squared. We don't know the other shorter side. They gave us C. So it goes on the other side of the equal sign. That's the most important one. So you do 6 squared, which is 36, plus B squared equals 64. Now, look, you just solve, guys. It's like an equation. Minus 36 from both sides. Okay. This is going to be 28. Okay. Now, what's the final step? Step, take the square root. Now, my answer right now is the square root of 28. 28 isn't a perfect square, so it's not going to give us a nice whole number. So let's see what they want. They want to the nearest tenth. So now this is when I take my calculator that they gave us in Delta Math, which is right up here. You see it? And then I do right there. So it's 28, and then hit that button. Oh, my fault. Um, you do the square root. Hit that. That's the square root button right there. And then put 28, because I how do I know to take the square root and not do what we did last time? Because it says right here to the nearest tenth. Hit enter. 5.29. So when you round that, it becomes 5.3. Okay. All right. Oh, it's four. My fault, guys. I thought it was six again. So here, um, if we go back to that screen, let's just change that really quick. That's, it's not 36, if you guys noticed that. Uh, it should have been, see I did 36 again? It should have been 16. So you subtract that from 16. So right here, it should have been, I made it a six, not a four. My fault. So it should be 64 minus 16. Forty-eight, So it's the square root of 48. My fault. So square root of 48. Let's find that. Put that in our calculator again. So I do delete. So square root of 48. Enter. So you're going to find the calculator again, guys, which is right here. Hold it up and take the square root of 48 and you get 6.92. So it's 6.9. All right, that's it. All right, so hopefully this video helps you out with this little assignment. This assignment is very similar to the last two. So make sure that you guys get these three assignments done so I can put them onto power school. Don't worry about the assignments in red because they're no longer needed for the fourth quarter. They're third quarter stuff. They have nothing to do with the fourth. So get these three done. Hopefully that video helped out. We'll be going live again soon. I'll send out a remind text in Google Classroom. So guys, make sure you keep up with everything. You're looking at my messages. You try to tune in live because you definitely get a grade for that. You've seen it on power school. If people aren't on here, please reach out to them. Tell them to get on Delta Math. Tell them to get on Google Classroom. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know the deal. Comment, like, subscribe. Hit the note, post notifications and everything, guys. Uh, this is the Math Fam. I'm Mr. Cornell. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll be in touch very soon, guys. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.